Hello, this is Mark and Tom Wilcox uh, from Ansonia Wines, and we are reporting from France for the first time in three years. Uh, we've been trying to get back here for three years, and at last, uh, March 2022, we are finally back, and we're in Segure in the Southern Rhone Valley. It will surprise none of you to know that everyone here is just as anxious to get back to some semblance of a normal life as folks in the States, and they're all happy to see us. What better place to start and Segure, with a view of the entire plain between Gigondas and the Dontel de Montmirail on this side and Chateauneuf du Pape on the other. It's a great, great location. We landed yesterday in Paris and took the TGV south to Avignon, uh, where we rented a car and drove across the valley to Segure, which is where we're staying in the southern Rhone uh, this time that we're here. We started this morning in Chateauneuf du Pape, uh, where we tasted with, Christ with Christophe Mestre. Uh, who's making accessible, delicious wines, uh, and who has just been joined by his son, Remy, who is uh, making really interesting experiments with whole cluster fermentation uh, with Morvedra and Syrah, and uh, lots of really exciting things to look forward to uh, with this domain here. We then drove across the appellation to the domain uh, Pierre-André, uh, and tasted with Jacqueline André, who's making just as good wine as she's ever made before, perfectly balanced and delicious wine. She then had us to lunch uh, in on her lovely patio, uh, where we enjoyed some some tiny little clams, some white Chateau du Pape, and a Dôme Provençal that she made by herself. It was just a, a, a lovely afternoon. We then traveled across the Appalachian to uh, Gigondas, where we tasted with the Clos de Jonca. Their Seguré and their Vacuras are lovely this year. Uh, and then finally down, just down the road, to the Domaine Le Goubert. This is a domain we've worked with for uh, several decades now, uh, and it's wonderful to see the family continuing to work together. Uh, we, we saw Jean-Pierre driving the forklift, and, uh, and uh, his wife Mireille doing the bottling line, and uh, their daughter Florence, who is the, the principal winemaker these days, uh, and, and really everything firing on all cylinders at the Domaine Le Goubert. So as you can see, we hit the ground running with a full day, four tastings, and a lunch. And truth be told, we're a little weary at the end of this first day of tastings, but we are delighted to be back here in France. Definitely. And uh, tonight we're headed to another uh, dinner in Segure at Le Mesclin. Right over there. Lovely restaurant with a beautiful view uh, over, the, uh, over the valley behind us. Uh, and then tomorrow we have a, a bunch of other tastings in the southern Rhone, and then we're headed up to the northern Rhone uh, to continue our trip. Uh, so that's it for tasting update number one. Uh, and we hope you'll continue to follow along with us.